If I ain't never, I don't, I don't know. Many people ain't seen my, my rig. All right? She's a 2000 F250, obviously. Lariat, seven point three liter. If you can't tell, I got them uh retro badges right there. And you know this is newer style badge, but read what I said right there. Yeah, I like her budging bitches. Anyway, she's seven point three liter, two thousand. I already discussed. You got three hundred seven thousand on it, okay? She's a pretty clean old truck. I got some steel front. Got my woo. Oh, hey, thirty six hundred series Plano. If you just like a little small tackle bags, cause you only need a little bit of fishing stuff, cause you're already professional enough like me. <laughs> That's all you need, let me tell you. But she ain't bad, you know. A little, little bird got in here the other day into a little shit. But, yeah. She's a good Betsy. Got three and a half inches off all the way from the turbo back. Okay. Can't see inside my cab because I'm a repo man, so I got to stay undercover. <laughs> But um, yeah, I keep I keep my my little sugar plum clean. Yeah, you got to if you don't take care of your machine and your vehicle, um, you're an idiot. Um, but anyway, look at there. Got a fly for dessert. Eat it right now. All right, and then we got the uh, good old sixty six thirty seven air filter upgrade on it. See, you want to put a sixty six thirty seven on there because sixty six thirty seven is going to give you a lot more CFM, and CFM is airflow, and the more airflow that you got going to your turbo, which is the Garrett G thirty five six, more power, baby, more power, baby, more power, baby. And I put new uh, Gates belt on here. Put the green belt on it because it's the best you can do. That's seventy five dollar belt right here. Boop. I love doing maintenance. Got food bowl right here. You see this right here? Let me tell you a little something. You can't see it. But right there. Right there. I just did the Tamer X upgrade. I did the blue screen upgrade. And let me tell you one thing. If you do the blue screen upgrade, you need to take the paint off the blue screen. Because you don't want to get the paint pieces inside your, bu your fuel bowl. Because if it gets in a fuel bowl and it don't buy by the grace of goodness, I hope it never happens. But if anything ever passed that double pleated fuel filter in there and it gets to the injectors or one injector any injectors oh oh go ahead and get ready to pull the motor and get pulled or pull the valve covers and pull the injectors out because you're buying new injectors i'm telling holy mackerel i thought i heard something rattling around in there i was wondering where it went i had to use it the other day damn all right sorry betsy been rubbing up on the been rubbing up on the down pipe. I mean, excuse me, the intercooler pipe. And it's on the cold side, too. At least it was on the cold side. But anyway. Uh, so I did a blue spring up, upgrade right here. Um, so now my fuel pressure is uh, right between that uh, 84 and 87. All right. And if it's uh, in the 90s or higher, uh, you're screwing up. So don't do that. Definitely don't do that. Um, I plan on doing the riffraff intake plantums. And if you don't know what the intake plantums are, well, you're about to find out what they are. The intake plantums go into the valve cover on the top. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. see this red boot down here right there? All right. Let me zoom in a little bit right there. This ain't the best phone. I broke my good one in. Lord, help me with this one. I'm telling you now, I need some blessings. But anyway, this red boot goes into the intake plan. The intake plan is right up, right up there by the valve cover. Well, I won't get billet uh, riff raff ones to go right there. It's just going to help with a little bit of performance, longevity on the motor. If uh, the Lord's willing, because they always said, drive a Ford, you ride with the Lord. And that's why I'm a Ford truck man, because I believe in Ford and Lord, and Lord and Ford. So uh, I think we can get a million miles out of this motor. Yep, I think we can. Uh, banjo bolts. This is gonna be a little lengthy video. Banjo bolt number one. Take the alternator bracket off. It's right there. Okay. And then you gotta take your take your bracket off for your AC compressor, and it's literally right. You see that bolt? 
go over about six inches right there. And then it's directly the same on the back side of the motor. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is your high pressure oil pump right here. Uh, well, yeah, this is your high pressure oil pump reservoir. Let me let me clarify. Your high pressure oil pump sits below it. So you take this little plug out, and it is a not a mother chicken to get this out. It's a mother chicken to put the oil back in it. But once you drain this couple times and get that clean oil of them injectors, you'll lose about 10 decibels. I'm telling you.